Seven years ago, a Syracuse University grad turned his love of tasty food and great music into a space that's become an institution on the hill. Now owner Adam Gold is looking to bring the funk and the waffles downtown, near Al's on Clinton Street. It's definitely like the time in my life where I'm saying, look, I've got this funk and waffles in my life. You know, I want to take it to the next level. I want to grow up. I want to start serving adult drinks. You know, I want to start having a nightlife. I'm really excited to be working with everybody and like make this whole downtown few blocks just like this big, you know, kind of crazy party. When it's finished, the second Funkin' Waffles will serve up craft beers, stay open beyond last call, and will offer a music venue unlike any other downtown. State-of-the-art lighting, subwoofers built into the stage, and artist himself, Adam has designed the new space to be a haven for musicians. And another unique feature about this music venue is that Adam's keeping all kinds of vintage instruments in the basement for musicians who visit to play, like this Farfisa organ, the same type of organ used by the Doors. If you can provide what's called a backline for the group, then you might be able to afford some acts that are normally not affordable, you know what I mean? Because they, they know that they can literally just fly in for the night, you have everything that they actually need, you know, and they can fly out. The new location has taken nearly a year to complete, and like any major project, Adams hit a few expensive and unforeseen bumps along the way. He's asking for fans of the funk to help out. His crowdfunding page, helpbuildthefunk.com, offers perks ranging from t-shirts to private shows. With that help, Adam hopes to open doors to the downtown Funkin' Waffles by early December. I'm Kelly Cowan reporting.